So, <clears throat> I tried this earlier as a Facebook um, live video, but Facebook has absolutely the worst video interface player recorder I think ever made. It's just like, fuck, it's horrible. So, uh, it the thing rotated 90 degrees in the middle of filming, and it's like, fuck you, there's no way to get it back. So, anyways, uh, this is a Motorola UHF AM band transmitter. Uh, this is pretty neat. This is like the second or third time I've had it hooked up. Uh, I don't really have a use for it. I got it with some 220 um, parts, basically. Uh, it, uh, I got them in the other room, actually. Uh, I got uh, two airband circulators in this, and I had to take this too at the ham fest. <laughs> so, um, I, I ended up paying the guy 20 bucks for two circulators, two low-pass filters, and this thing. So, I think I got a pretty good deal. Um, I don't know anything about this. I've never found any documentation on it. If anybody knows anything about it, it'd be really cool. The only thing I could find is I could look up the, um, the airband thing. It, it's a governmental thing, so there's no FCC, uh, anything on it. So, it's got AC and DC power. And uh, I have it hooked up on DC right now. It draws about a half amp on, I think, receive. Because uh, I, I believe this is a, a, a transceiver, not just a transmitter. I haven't verified that. I don't have an AM band transmitter. And I'm not going to pull out in the shed and move stuff around. And, you know, and it's kind of, it's just a neat thing. I, I, I like this kind of stuff. Throw it on. Draws about six tenths of an amp. And I've already played with the frequency on this a little bit. Um, let me zoom in here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And it, it automatically disappears. Like, you don't even know the thing's on other than the power's on. Okay. You hit enable, and then, let's see, you hit enable twice. And that allows you to hit the frequency. And it will scan through that. Uh... I did figure out earlier, uh, this was on 367, no, 357, I think, something like that, 347. I forget what it was. It was some weird frequency. Um, 25 kilohertz step, and uh, it goes uh, basically 400, or 225 to 400. I got it because it was 220, and, you know, I'm, like, gay for 220 for handband stuff, so, like, you know, hey, why not? Um... It does have a, let me zoom out here, it has this mic jack on the front. I don't, I think this was meant to be installed in like, not, how's this thing open? It's, um, it's a quarter inch phone jack. So I'm gonna assume it's probably a standard headset that goes in there. Uh, it's got some pretty good size um, heat sinking on it. Uh, but what, what is neat, it does have some, like, service software stuff built in. Let me see if I can zoom in here a little bit. Okay. So you hit the uh, mode button. Once you get into the menu, you have a power meter. You have your, um, your frequency, transmit timeout, uh, warp setting. I believe this only does simplex, so the, the XMIT power goes... Um, it was set at 40, 45 there, goes up to 78, I think that's, I think this is probably calibrated in watts, just looking at the heat sink, and that's probably peak power, I guess, because it's AM, and, you know, it's, there's, there's no RSS, there's no programming, uh, all the governmental stuff doesn't require computer programming, I think it's kind of interesting, even like the, the military radios and whatnot, you can hook a computer to them and do stuff, but you can actually program FPP everything uh, it just as part of it. Um, okay, modulation index. There's your frequency, power meter again. So that's all that's there. Let's see if... Okay, so I'm assuming that's in seconds. Um, and again, this is probably a sim it's airband, so it's going to be simplex. There's no way to do anything else. Um, I'll zoom out here. There's your switches. I did find some information on the contract number this was made on, so it's kind of neat uh, that they would put that right on the front. And uh, these, uh, oh, good, these uh, 
these switches here are something else. They're they're actual freaking breakers. So let me power it off. I'll flip it around and you can see the back end. I just have it hooked up to a, a little bench power supply quickly. Okay. See, it's got some decent heat sink on the side here. Okay, here's our back panel. So I'm going to assume this is like circular mill connector. It's your input, your output, your wire line. That's a um, 120 volt input, 24 volt uh, DC. The longer pin here, or in this case, the pin I had my finger on, that's ground. And the shorter one in here is uh, positive. I just hooked them up with some test leads. And uh, this does make me think that it is a transceiver. Again, because it has a separate receive and antenna port. Uh, I'm guessing this is transmit. This is that. There's some other stuff here that just, I don't know what that is. ALC test. I don't know. Anybody that has more information in this, that'd be cool to know. Um, so and I'll just do a final so you can get the whole 360 here. Here's the side of it. And you see it's just got this big heat sink on it. No fans because that's heavy too. Damn. Anyways, this is the uh, Motorola CM200 UHF transceiver uh, for the AM aircraft band. It is uh, it's neat, and I got it at a good price. So uh, you know, if anybody has more information on it, let me know.